hello and welcome to my channel this video is going to be a comparison of six years of ISWA magnetic field lines this view is from the side this is the equator all through these three uh, the earth sun side night side all three uh, they're not quite the exact same times uh, they're pretty much the same day this is 2014 2017 and 2020 uh, I just wanted to show a progression of how the magnetic field has changed over the days over the years uh, might as well start with the front side and the obvious is we don't have much energy extra energy from the Sun coming in in these in these frames I have them set to 300 frames so it gives us uh, a long time uh, to to almost a full day so we're pretty much looking at a full day in these models for each one three uh, six years apart all right now <clears throat> The scales are set up a little differently, you know, we can see see that the scale still adjusts even back then. The satellites are still in the same locations, even though a few years earlier there the satellites can be seen out here, but they brought them all inside inside and just orbiting uh geosync orbit. Now in the let's start with like we've talked about in the front, not much activity from the sun at this time. So we're looking at the bow shock and we still have the same satellites just the two in fact they you know they even show goes 15 back back in the day here they're on the scale but not on these ones but we still don't see the satellite themselves anyway this one actually shows comms which was I believe was a Korean satellite man unless I'm just completely wrong I don't know that I will say I don't know sorry I haven't looked up that satellite but 13 14 15 you know goes they are uh, 13 14 have been retired they just never changed the scale but anyways we still have blue our IMF signature that's in the back back in 2014 you even saw it as early as 2012 but it wasn't near as prominent as it is in these times we have a lot of IM, uh, IMF activity back then, which is the blue lines. Um, the bow shock is different. It's more layered and less intense. Uh, really uh, very little, if, if any, uh, induction heating. No, like you see here, the red cones going into the earth that's adding energy for these closed field lines the red so we don't see much closed field lines here uh, we'll see a little bit more here in 2017 with some uh, induction heating and of course in today you know, 2020 we have even more induction heating and a stronger even stronger bow shock as you can see in these three the bow shock has changed over time and here at 7 2020 <gasps> it's just pretty solid and strong so anybody who says that it's getting weaker because of solar minimum is not accounting for that we live in a trinary system and our other two sons have returned Ra and Horus aka blue and red Kachinas and they have other names too just depends which civilization you got the names from or what you follow. Yeah, I tend to follow the Egyptians because they were very technical. So you, as you can see back then the bow shock wasn't as intense or strong as it is now throughout the years. Now like here we have more IMF activity going on than we do in 2020. But you got to remember these fields of blue is not connected to earth at all these are other bodies and you can see 
you know, there have been disturbances in magnetics. But as you can see, they've changed over the years. The compression's gotten stronger in 2020. Uh, these overlapping IMF are what we think is the field of one of our other suns, specifically Ra, or the blue Kachina. Not because the lines are blue, that just means IMF, interplanetary magnetic field lines. Okay, so what else do we have is different? We talked about the bow shock difference, the closed field lines difference, how the IMF is different. Now we have more closed field lines now, more compression, less IMF activity than before. But as we become more and more compressed, I would expect we kind of see a little less and less of it, and more and more closed field lines, and that's evident in these six-year gap of frames here. Now, these dates are just, I chose where I could get, you know, there have been gaps in data, so I chose the ninth because it, I could get all three. I could get a full days of data out of all three years so that's why I didn't choose today because back in for, uh, 2014 it wouldn't give me it would give me these dates anyway so I just went with it alright so this is just a comparison for you all to see that things of the train wreck is slowly increasing as the years go on and uh, well, I think we're gonna see a quickening and things are gonna increase a lot faster now at this point so alrighty enjoy your Sunday morning and I will see you all in the next one